What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with a figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Best of Pay-Per-View Build-A-Figure Paul Bearer. Now yes, we finally got Paul Bearer in American soil and you can see Build-A-Figure for Paul Bearer. Undertaker does include the thighs or mainly Paul Bearer's lower torso. I don't know why they just didn't say legs. But anyway, here we have the Undertaker on the box, you can see a nice picture of the dead man. He is right here, of course. This is from his WrestleMania 22 attire. And on the back, no real read-up, just says collect these four superstars to build a Paul Bearer figure. Other figures in this line include Rusev, and of course The Undertaker, Neville, and Chris Jericho. Having all four of these figures does give you the ability to build a Paul Bearer action figure. Really excited I found these guys, so what I'm going to do is take a little break, get this guy out of the box, and then we'll continue the re review, so sit tight everyone. So here we have the Undertaker posing out of the packaging, and before we get on to the figure, let's actually go on to his accessory, his one and only accessory being the legs of Paul Bearer, and here they are, as you can see. Really looking forward to putting Paul Bearer together, though if you got Rusev, you also have the torso, so you just go ahead and peg those together and you have the majority of Paul Bearer. But anyway, here we have the Undertaker posing out of the packaging. Let's get a good 360 of him. Uh, I do like this figure, don't get me wrong. I, I just think that, I don't know, it just really doesn't look much like the Undertaker. Uh, I had this problem with Rusev. It's something with the face. The face just seems off. Uh, if you're looking for a really demonic, satanic looking face, this is the one to go, but this doesn't scream Undertaker to me, and I know some people will say it does, and I think my main problem with it is the hair. I don't ever remember Undertaker wrestling with his hair slicked back like this. Normally, anytime Undertaker would wrestle, his hair would was more... In, in his face and draped over his shoulders and I don't know, I think that's the one thing that's really killing this figure for me is the hair. I mean from some angles it looks like The Undertaker so that's pretty good. But anyway, let's actually take a look at his face. Moving the camera up. You know who he also reminds me of? Vandal Savage. He, I'm pretty sure you can use this face as a really good base for a Vandal Savage. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. He looks, like I said, from some angles he looks like the Undertaker from other, from like a straight on. His eyes seem a little too close together. But this is of course a younger Undertaker when he had the really long hair from his match with Mark Henry. His sleeves really well done. Lacking color, but then again, they normally put color with the elite figures. Uh, that's if they have like sleeves or they have like a solidary tattoo. They'd normally get co some color. You can see the demon skull right on the side. And on this side, same design, all the way down to his black boots. So, you know, really basic attire, the singlets there. Nothing really exciting, and because of copyright, they can't really put any emblems on his. Uh, what's it called? His MMA gloves, excuse me, his grappling gloves, uh, gloves, I lost the word there for a minute. But anyway, that's Undertaker for you, and really not much to say, uh, kind of wish he did come with something, like maybe an urn. I know we are getting an Undertaker with an urn, I just don't, haven't found it yet. Zooming the camera out, so we can go on to his articulation. Undertaker has a standard basic articulation, he has a boulder in the head, he can look up, down, left and right, as well as tilt his head side to side, so you get full range of movement in his head. Arms on a bulge and go out. Do a full 360. He spins at the bicep. Single jointed in the elbow. Spins at the wrist, as well as hinge at the wrist, and it's the same for both arms. He has a waist swivel. Legs go forward to about that far. That far back. Really far back, actually. He, he does have knee joints, but... Uh, they're really stiff on mine, and I don't really want to force it, but he does have knee joints. Uh, I can't get it 
past that part actually and it's just really stiff on mine. Uh, he does swivel at the boot as well as has an ankle hinge. So basic articulation, nothing too fancy. So what I'm going to do now is take a little break, get him to take a pose, and that, uh, pose for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up his review. So sit tight, everyone. And here we have Undertaker pose for my final thoughts. And yes, I kind of am cheating, giving him the best of pay or not the best of pay-per-view, the WrestleMania Heritage Undertaker coat. As you can see, it looks really nice on him as well as the hat. The hat actually fits really well on him because I think the hat was molded for this head sculpt. But anyway, really liking this figure. Uh, the face is the only thing that throws me off about this figure, but if you have a spare hat and maybe a, another coat, he doesn't look too bad, and he actually looks quite good. Now, if you're looking for the best of pay-per-view series with Paul Bearer, you're actually going to have to go to Walmart. Walmart is the only sh store carrying the best of pay-per-view Paul Bearer series. So... If you really want Paul Bear, you're going to have to go out and pick up and pick these guys up at Walmart. It's actually quite fitting that they throw Undertaker into this line because, you know, he was Undertaker's manager. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Before you go, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go check out all my other figure reviews and wrestling figures and tell me what you think. Uh, if there's a figure out there you want me to review... Well, let me know, and I'll see if I can find space for it in my collection. But until next time, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000, and I'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone.